Welcome to Rooster TV and today we're joined by one of the co-captains of the women's team who have got themselves into the finals for their third consecutive year, Nadia Von Birdo. Nadia, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Daryl. Uh, yeah, great effort by the girls to get into the uh, finals for the third year in a row. Um, firstly, we'll start with the, the game on Saturday. We had a, a big win against Sturt to finish the minor round. Uh, just talk us through your, uh, your thoughts on the game. Yeah, it was another big win for us. I think our goal kicking capacity this season has been really impressive. Um, a lot of strong forwards in our forward line. KB, of course, leading goal kicker. But um, yeah, I think we're moving the ball really well and it's a big team effort. So I think we've got, rather than you know a couple of girls leading the way, we've got all 22 players playing their part at the moment, which is really positive to see. Yeah, looking at the goal kicking list, obviously uh, you know, Kelly B Baltrop's kicked uh, 26 now, and I think our next best is eight or nine. I think Christy might, Castle might have kicked eight or nine, yeah. and yourself up there as well. But uh, we're not, we're definitely not a uh, a one forward um, who, who dominates the game. We've got plenty of options. Um, just the, another part of the game on the weekend was our midfield's really strong, and um, you know with Britt Perry back from the yeah. AFL duty. So just talk us through the uh, the midfield and the quality we have in there. Yeah, obviously having Britt back has been a huge help. Um, she's a real a leader in the midfield and really yeah, leads the way a lot. Um, obviously Tiny, the co-captain with me, she is another strong player in the midfield and just being able to be clean with the ball is so important, I think, in women's footy and will be something that will be really handy for us um, this week. So, yeah, I just think the clean possession that we're able to get and the ability to lock the ball down when we need to has been something that's been really important for us this season. And individually? Obviously, you had a, a really good season last year in your first year at the club, coming third in the BNF, and you've had a, a, a very, very good season so far this year. You had a couple of quiet weeks the last few, but back to your best on the weekend with a, a lazy 26 disposal. So, how are you feeling going into the finals? Yeah, feeling confident again. Obviously, you had a yeah, couple of quiet weeks um, about a, in for the last month, but uh, that's all right. Finding form again, I guess, and um, just the support of all the girls has been great. And um, you know, it's meant that other girls have stepped up and you know, getting the heaps of the ball as well. So I think again, it's that whole team effort. And if I can continue playing my part, that's good enough for me. Yeah, and on onto the season. We'll quickly just wrap the season as a whole. We had a. Uh, at a slow start of the year, then we're one and three, but we've uh, gone on to win our last six and carry that form, uh, very strong form into the finals. Just talk us through how you think the uh, year's evolved. Yeah, I think obviously losing a lot of players from last season um, was a challenge to begin with, but the development that we've had in the last yeah, five or six games has been incredible. And um, you know, I didn't know what to expect from this season, but um, yeah, it's been amazing, and all the girls have really stepped up. Um, Slaley gave us the challenge of winning six from six and we've managed to do that so got to be happy with that. Talking about Slaley, he's a, uh, he's a, a coach with a lot of passion and uh, he talks with his hands a lot of, uh, <laughs> of notice but uh, yeah just give us your thoughts on uh, not only Matt Slade but the assistant coaches in Eve Simonala and Nathan Steinburner who uh, remind us regularly about how many flags they've won. <laughs> Yeah, they're a bit of a, a funny trio to work with, but um, Slady, of course, his energy and excitement is um, something that just rubs off on us, I guess, which is pretty handy. Um, and Eves and Steiny bring him back down to ground a little bit, but um, yeah, they're, they're great. Um, always bring a bit of a laugh at training and keep us, I guess, yeah, not too serious. But yeah, it's, they're really great for second year in a row with them for me. So um, yeah, still loving it, loving Slady's excitement. Um, for footy. And we'll throw over to the, the season as a whole, like yep. a bar from yourself, of course, who will be around the mark, but uh, best and fairest coming up, obviously, at the end of the year. Just yep. name a few girls who you think uh, might challenge you for the trophy. Um, I think Leah Tynan, um, yeah, the co-captain, will also be up there. She plays consistent footy week in, week out, so I think she'd be getting plenty of votes. Um, yeah, doesn't really have a bad game, always does her part, so she'll definitely be up there, I think, deservingly. Yeah. Okay, and moving on to this week, uh, we're playing Glenelg at uh, Cooper Stadium down at Nord uh, at 6 o'clock on Friday night. Uh, obviously, Glenelg had a big win on the weekend to get themselves into the finals, sitting yeah. fifth uh, going into the last minor round game. Uh, just talk us through you know, Glenelg and, um, and how you think we'll uh, get over the line. Yeah, Glenelg have definitely um, improved again from last year and the year before, so they're quite a threat at this stage, I think. But... Um, 
I think the development that we've had over the last few weeks uh, can see us beat any team, hopefully. And if we're going in confident, there's no reason we can't do that. Um, yeah, I think just the way that if we can play our own game and just get the ball into our forward line will be pretty damaging on the scoreboard, I think. And obviously, a, 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 your surname on Bomberto, it's a, a, a name that most uh, North Adelaide people would know. Just a, a quick um, summary of how of how you're involved with uh, Terry and, uh, and the family? Yeah, Terry is my second cousin, I believe, so my dad's cousin. Um, I think they grew up a little bit together with footy. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's cool to kind of have that legacy here at North and to hopefully keep that going. So yeah, I think it's a, it's a strong sporting name. I don't know if I quite live up to the standard, but that's all right. <laughs> Now you're going very well, Nadia. So, as we uh, just mentioned before, this Friday night the uh, the women roosters take on uh, Glenelg down at the uh, at the parade. Six o'clock start. Obviously, the uh, the men have a week off due to the state game where Josh Carr will lead the SA boys over there in Perth. So, if you're not doing anything, love to see you down at the parade in your red and whites, and uh, hopefully we can uh, continue our winning form. Thanks a lot.